Intestine The small intestine is a long tube that's about 1.5 inches to 2 inches or 3.5 to 5 centimeters around and it's packed inside you beneath your stomach. If you stretched out an adult's small intestine, it would be about 22 feet long or 6.7 meters. That's like 22 notebooks lined up end to end all in a row. The small intestine breaks down the food mixture even more so your body can absorb all the vitamins, minerals, proteins, carbohydrates and fats. The grilled chicken on your pizza is full of proteins and a little fat. And the small intestine can help extract them with a little help from three friends. The pancreas, the liver and the gallbladder. At 3 or 4 inches around or 7 to 10 centimeters, the large intestine is fatter than the small intestine and it's almost the last stop on the digestive tract. Like the small intestine, it is packed into the body and would measure 5 feet or 1.5 meters long if you spread it out. The large intestine has a tiny tube with a closed end coming off it called the appendix. It's part of the digestive tract but it doesn't seem to do anything though it can cause big problems because sometimes it can get infected and needs to be removed. You know the names of the bits you can see but there are many more hidden deep inside you. Body parts often come in pairs. You have two feet, two eyes, two ears, two lungs and so on. This means you have a handy spare in case one of them gets damaged.